Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at hosting on Webflow, the pros and cons. We'll also look at what the difference between a site and a workspace plan is. Let's jump in. All right, first thing is, is that Webflow, I betcha, are at their office right now waiting for me to finish this video so they can go and update the language and the prices and the features you get. So um, be sure, like, I'm going to run through it now, but this might change, the language might change, but it'll give you a good general overview. So I'm at my dashboard here. You'll see that that's the site we're working on. It's called Starter Site. There's this other thing called Starter Workplace. That was probably the trickiest thing to understand when I got started. So let's discuss those. And I'm going to jump to this page here. It's webflow.com slash pricing. This is probably the same. Okay, and I want to discuss the two different options here. Okay, there's something called site plans and down the bottom here, workspace plans. What is the difference? Briefly, uh, a site plan is hosting. That's what they call it. They call it site plans and e-commerce plans. These things are the same, just kind of different levels. Okay, but this is hosting your website somewhere on the internet that it can live, where people can visit it. Somebody needs to host it. Okay, so that's what this chunk is. The workspace plan is you as the designer. You as the designer is like, at the moment we're using it for free. Okay, but let's say I want to build more than, uh, you know, uh, two unhosted sites. I need 10 of them. I need to export the code. I need to add password protection. That's where you as the designer upgrade this. So you personally will upgrade this and pay $19 a month. Then every site will need Need hosting so if you've got 10 sites that's 10 times 12. every site needs hosting but you as the designer need you can try and get away with the free but you might need to upgrade to this one here if you're going to build more than one website because it unlocks a lot of features so that's it you may get away with just one payment you might need both of them if you're going to go into webflow seriously so that's the skinny version let's look a little bit more deeper and um, so site plans and e-commerce plans so we're on the starter plan Okay, the big drawback here is you don't get a custom domain. Okay, everyone's going to want danielscott.com. Okay, not uh, you know a dear hyphen kayaking hyphen club dot webflow dot io. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's that. If you do need to upgrade it, and that's all you're doing, let's say that this website is your website and it's static, it doesn't do a whole lot, and you just want the domain name, that's all you have to go. Grab the basic one, okay, get the custom domain, and that's it. The next jump up is a CMS. So we'll do a CMS when we do build our own blog, okay? It's when there's a bunch of items in your CMS, like blog posts, or it might be portfolio items, or, okay, CMS, content management system. Okay, if you do need any of that, and you want the client to be able to update items or blog posts, you're gonna need to up, you know, go to this one here. And there's just a restriction on CMS items, okay? If you've got more than 2,000, you need to jump to here. Same with the bandwidth, okay? 50 gigabytes is quite a lot for a small site. Uh, you know, 200 is quite a lot, and then you start getting to 400 gigabytes. It's like the trans, how much information is going from your host to people. Basically, it's based on how much they actually have to download, okay? Images and videos and all sorts of other stuff. And really what it comes down to is how much traffic you have. So often when you get up to these, okay, uh, higher prices, you often are generating more revenue, and it's, you know, translatable, pay less, for less traffic, pay more for more traffic. The big jump here is the e-commerce one. Okay, so site plans here, CMS, static sites, perfect. When you want to start pay taking payments, okay, you're gonna to have to jump to the basic of this one here. That's where you start. This is where Webflow will start helping you with payments and shopping carts and orders and shipping and all that sort of fun stuff that is amazingly helpful from Webflow, but it costs a bit more. Okay, so these are the exact same thing, just with different levels. Our, you know, Adia Kayak Club is probably gonna be fine at this because I want the extra domain name and it's probably not gonna get more than 50 gigabytes. So as I wanna start selling stuff from it, okay, I'm gonna to have to upgrade to a minimum of this. And then again, this just kind of upgrades depending on your level, how many things are in your shop and your sales volume. Okay, you can have a look through all of these. They've got kind of like view all plan features and you can kind of scroll down and have a look at what will work for you in, you know, what you can get away with. And you can upgrade if you need to. All right, that's gonna be my skinny version. I don't wanna go through every feature because it's gonna change, I know it is, but go to pricing, view all plan features for both hosting, okay, which is the site or e-commerce plans, and then have a look at workspace and just see what's gonna work for you. If you're new, maybe sign up for a monthly account and you can upgrade to annual if you wanna save some money in the long term. 
Actually, before you go, pros and cons for me, okay, the cons are that it's a little pricey compared to hosting. Hosting has to be paid for. Somebody has to pay for it somewhere. Gone of the free GeoCities days. Hands up who remembers those, um, where they used to fund it from ads, I think. So you have to pay for hosting somewhere, but the con here is that it is a little more expensive than other places. If you have done this sort of stuff before, it's not outrageous, but it kind of leads into the pros. And uh, you know, if you're comfortable setting up your own host, then you know, uh, that's one thing. If you're not, you know, I can set up a domain, I can set up, you know, I can set up a database kind of, and you know, uh, set up my host somewhere else. And, but I like this because it is, you know, somebody's looking after it, the security patches are all run by somebody else. And for me, some of the big ones is setting up that the client can update it, okay? So that they can log into the editor and make updates to add their own blog posts, add their own, you know, items to the store, organize their own orders, the forms, it's all kind of outsourced and handled by them. All right, that's it. Site plans and e-commerce is hosting. And this one down here is basically, or is it workspace is you paying to use the software? I'm using air quotes because it's kind of a website, but software as a service. There we go. All right. I was probably stating the obvious there, but anyway, <laughs> I hope it was helpful. Uh, if it wasn't, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. We're going to start making our portfolio. Exciting. That, my friend, is the end of the video, uh, but not the end of the course. Uh, the video you just watched, um, it is a small part of my large course called Webflow Essentials. So if you enjoyed the video, my teaching style, there'll be a card up here you can click or a link in the description, okay? And come join me for the full course. Uh, like the video as well if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff, but hopefully see you in the course. Bye.